Hello everyone. So today we're going to look at our final video on simultaneous equations. And in this video, we're going to, all right, here we go. We're going to solve simultaneous equations using the substitution method. I think all of my other videos were on elimination. This one is going to be specifically substitution. And you can decide for yourself which one you prefer. All right, so let's get right into a question. And I'm told to use the substitution method to solve. I have x plus 2y equals 8, and that's equation 1. 2x plus 3y equals 14, and that's equation 2. Here's what you're going to look for. Always look for a term with a coefficient of 1, right? That is going to be most helpful when you're using the substitution method. And I notice equation 1. If I look at it, this x term, that does have a coefficient of 1. So that's a really, really good term, a really good place for me to start. So the first thing I'm going to do is solve equation 1 for x, which means I'm going to make x a subject. And I did that by subtracting 2y from both sides. So I'm left with x equals 8 minus 2y. Now I'm going to take this expression. 8 minus 2y, and substitute it into equation 2. So where there's an x, I'm going to replace it with the expression 8 minus 2y. So I have 2 times 8 minus 2y plus 3y equals 14. And now from your studies in algebra, you should know that my next step is going to be to remove brackets. All right, so I have 16 minus 4y plus 3y is equal to 14. And then I just simplify 16 minus 2y minus 1y is equal to 14. Negative 1y is equal to 14 minus 16. Negative 1y is equal to negative 2. So y is equal to positive 2. Now that I know what y is, I can use any of my equations to solve for x. So I'm going to substitute y equals 2 in equation 1. Write it back, x plus 2y equals 8. <laughs> so that becomes x plus 2 times 2 equals 8. x plus 4 equals 8. x equals 8 minus 4. x is equal to 4. Now that I've worked out for x and y, I know what's most important is to always check because my check is going to let me know whether or not I've done this properly. So I checked using equation two and I substituted both x and y into the equation. And I, as you can see on the screen in my check, I know that I've done this correctly. Let's look at another one. 2a plus b equals five, 3a minus 2b equals four. Again, I'm always going to look for a term that has a coefficient of 1. In this case, that's this term right here. All right, so let's continue. I'm going to solve equation 1 for b. So that becomes b equals 5 minus 2a. Now I'm going to substitute that into equation 2. So 3a minus 2 times 5 minus 2a equals 4. Now, what I want to say, and I know a lot of students sometimes make this mistake, be very careful at this point where you're removing brackets because you want to multiply each term inside the brackets by a negative 2. So that's not just 2, but it's in fact a negative 2 that you're multiplying by. So my next step is going to say 3a minus 10 plus 4a. Notice what happened. Negative 2 times negative 2a became a positive 4a is equal to 4. 3a plus 4a minus 10 is equal to 4. 7a minus 10 is equal to 4. 7a is equal to 4 plus 10. 7a is equal to 14. A is just equal to 2. All right, now I know what a is. I'm going to substitute a equals 2 back into equation 1. So 2a plus b equals 5. 
2 times 2 plus b equals 5. 4 plus b equals 5. So b is equal to 5 minus 4. b is just equal to 1. And of course, now that I've worked out a solution for a and b, I'm going to check. Check using equation 2. And I think what's lovely about algebra, especially when I'm solving equations, I can always check to see if I've done this correctly. So I've substituted a and b into equation 1, equation 2, sorry. And I've simplified, and I do see that it works out. All right, thank you so much for watching. I hope that this video has helped you in some way. You take care. Bye now.